Okay, now let's look at multiplication of matrices. Multiplication of matrices. Okay, so uh, multiplication of matrices, we should know that we know each and every time they are going to give us what a matrix, right? And so because it is multiplication, if our M is equal to 2, 3, 1, 4, and N is equal to 4, 2, 1, 3. Something like this. And if they ask you to calculate or find M multiplying N, this is what we mean by what? Multiplication of two matrices. Okay. And so, let's look at how to perform the multiplication. We know the rows and columns already, right? So, if you don't understand the rows and columns, you have to study it again because we are going to apply that one here very much. Okay. So, we have A, B, C, D to be our M. Okay. Then we have N equals what? E, F, G, H. Okay. So we are to find M by N, or they can say M N. Okay, so we are to find this. Let's look at how to calculate for something like this. Now you see, we have what A and what E. We have B here, we have F, we have C, we have G, we have D, we have what H. Initially, addition, we just add the corresponding what entries. And subtraction to we did same, but here multiplication it is not like that. We are going to use the first row to multiply the first column in this in the second word um, matrix. I said what the first row by what the first column. Okay, so we say our M N is equal to the first row is what A and B. The first column here is what E and what G, right? So this A is going to multiply this E. So we say A, E, right? Then this B, because it is on the first row, this B will multiply the G. So we say plus B, G. Okay, so we are done with the first one. We are going, we are going to do it again for the rest. So follow. Uh, follow it very carefully. The next one is we are going to use this same first row to multiply the second column. Right? And because the second column is at the right hand side, we are always looking at the uh, second column. Because this first column is what at the left hand side. That is why this one is here. And this first, uh, the second column is at the right hand side. So we are bringing it to here. Okay. But we are still using the first row. So this first row will multiply this and multiply this. So A times F here will give you what? A, F plus. This B will multiply what you have down here. So we say B, H. So you see we are done with the first row. We are done with the first row. We are now coming to the second row. So for the second row, we have what? C and D, right? So for the C and D, this, this C is going to multiply um this e and what g again because always we are using the row here to multiply the columns in the second matrix okay so this c and what d are multiplying this to give you what c e plus d g right then we move on to this column by saying c f plus d h that is it so if here is two and here is three here you multiply to get what six and here to multiply to get the number then you add them that is all okay so that is what we are going to do today under multiplication of matrices okay so you follow okay we have a question here so let's solve this question using this approach okay so our solution, we say M times N 
is equal to what did we say? We said two will multiply what? These two. We are going to use this first row to multiply the first column, right? So these two will multiply this four. So we have what? Two multiplying four separately. Plus this one will multiply the one here. So we say one by one. Okay. So we are done with the first one. Then we move on to the second column by saying two times two. And that will give us two by two here plus one by three. So one times what three. Okay, we close it. Then we come to the second row. And this second row is going to multiply the first column again. So three times four. That is three times four plus four times what one. Four times one okay so three times two here three times two here plus four times what three four times three okay so now we are going to perform our simple calculations or we are going to simplify them so two times four is giving us what eight plus one times one is what one okay so we have 8 plus 1 here. Then 2 times 2 is giving us 4 here plus 3. Okay. Then 3 times 4 is giving us 12 here plus 4 times 1 is 4. Okay. Then we have 3 times 2, which is 6, plus 4 times 3, which is 12. Okay. So that is the simplified one. So you perform your simple addition to get what? Your final answer. So 8 plus 1 will give you what? 9. 4 plus 3 will give you 7. 12 plus 4 will give you 16. And 6 plus 12 will give you what? 18. Okay. And so this is your final answer. Okay. Yeah. So that is how we do the uh, multiplication of, of 2 by 2 matrices or any other type. So we are going to solve another question. Then I'll give you uh, one example to try. Okay. And I'm going to solve another question. Okay. So now we are going to solve a question under multiplication of matrices. Okay. So a very simplified one. And let me teach you this before we begin with our calculations. Now, anytime you are, you see, we have different sizes of what matrices, right? So this is two by two this is two by two and this is what two by one right and this is what one by two okay and this is what two by one two three so two by three right so we have different sizes now we are going to perform what different multiplications and one thing you have to note is that if you are performing a calculation two by two matrix like this multiplying another two by two matrix always what you have here must be equal to this one before you can perform the calculation okay so you see this is what two this is two it means the calculation is what possible and your result you must get what this two by two okay so this means it is possible and the first and last year represents the results that you are going to get so at the end of your calculation, you are to get what? Two by two what? Matrix. Okay. Then you have what? Two by one matrix. So if you have two by two matrix, multiplying two by one matrix. If this is equal to this, this is two, this is two. It means the calculation is possible. And your results, your finance, you must get what? Two by one matrix. Okay. Then this one you have what? one by two okay so if you are multiplying two by two matrix by one by two matrix this is what two and this is what one because this two is different from the one here it means it is not possible right the calculation cannot be possible you cannot uh calculate for that particular matrix so you write cannot be possible okay yes then the same thing so always you have to write the particular or the two matrices in question 
and you check out whether the calculation can be possible. If it can be possible like this, then you find out your results. Do you get it? Okay, so let's start the calculations. So you have the first one to be P Q. Okay, you have the first one to be P Q. Now, this is P multiplying what Q. So we say P, this is our solution. We say P Q is equal to, we have 1, 2, 3, 2. Multiplying what? Q, which is 3, 2. Okay. Now, let's first check whether the calculation can be possible or not. This is 2 by 2 method, so we write 2 by 2. This is what? It has 1, 2. So, 2 by 1. Okay. Now, you see this is 2, this is 2. So, it means the calculation can be possible, right? And our results, we are going to get what? 2 by 1 matrix. Okay. So, let's check whether our results would be what? 2 by 1 matrix. Okay. So, as usual, this first row is going to multiply this column. So, 1 is going to multiply 3. So, we have 1 times 3. Plus these two multiply these two, so we have two times two. Okay, so we are done since we don't have any other column again. We come to the second rule, and so the second rule we have three multiplying the first one, so three by three plus we have two multiplying the second one, which is two by two. Okay, so you see we are done, and so this one we have one times three giving you three plus. 2 times 2 is what? 4. 3 times 3 is what? 9. And 2 times 2 is what? 4. Okay. So your final answer, you have what? 7 at the top. There's plus. There is plus here. So 7 at the top. Um, 13 down here. So 7, 13 as your matrix. So you see your final answer, you are getting what? 2 by 1. Okay. Yes. As it was indicated. Okay, so we are done with the first one. This one is what? 713. Our PQ is equal to 713. Okay, yes. So let's clean this one. Let's perform the second calculation here before we clean this one. Okay, so the second calculation is what? PR. So PR, let's check whether PR, the multiplication, can be possible. So this is 2 by 2, so we write our 2 by 2. And this is what? 1 by 2, right? So we say 1 by 2. You see, this one is different from this. This, this is 2, this is 1. So the calculation cannot be possible, right? So for PQ, uh, sorry, PR, we say not possible. Please don't write 0. Do you get it? It is not possible. Zero is a number. So if you write zero, it means you solved it and you got the answers to be zero, 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 zero. Do you get it? So you don't need to do it that way. It is not possible. Okay. So let's move on to the PS. We have P to be two by two. S to be what? Two by three. So two by three. This is the same. So the calculation can be possible. And our result, we must get what? 2 by 3 metrics. Okay. So let's solve it. PS. We say PS equal to this matrix. 1, 2, 3, 2. Multiplying S, which is 2, 1, 3, 2, 4, 1. Here. Okay. So... This one, this first row is going to multiply the first column. The same row will multiply the second column. The same row will multiply what? The third column. So we say 1 times what? 2. So 1 times 2 is what? 2. This one, I'm not going to simplify it like this. I'm just writing the straight answers because you now understand. So 1 times 2 is what? 2 plus 2 times 2 is what? 4. So we are down with the first part. Okay. The same row multiply this. This second column. So you have 1 times 1, which is 1. 
plus 2 times 4, which is what? 8. Okay. Let me write it. Again. You have 2 here plus 4. Okay. Then here too, you have what? 1 plus this time, this is what? 8. Okay. And here you have what? 3 plus 2. two because 2 times 1 is what? 2. Okay, then we come to the second rule. 3 times 2 is what? 6 plus 2 times 2 is what? 4. Okay, then 3 times 3, uh, 3 times 1 is 3 plus 2 times 4 is what? 8. Okay, so 3 times 3 is what? 9 plus 2 times 1 is what? 2. Okay, so that is it. That is it. Okay. So 2 plus 4 is what? 6. Okay. So we have 6 here. 1 plus 9 is what? 1 plus 8 is 9. Okay. 3 plus 2 is what? 5. 6 plus 4 is what? 10. 3 plus 8 is what? 11. And 9 plus 2 is 11. Okay. So this is our final answer for what? P S. And you will see we have what? Um, one row. Another rule, so we have two by what three. So, as indicated earlier, we said our final answer um, is going to be what two by three matrix, and this is what we have it here. So, our what PS is equal to six, nine, five, ten, eleven, eleven. Okay, so we are left with QR and QS. I'll solve one and I'll leave the other one to you. I want the one that is not possible so that I'll give the one that is possible to you to also solve. Okay, so QR, this is what? One, two. So two by one matrix. This one is two by one. And the R is what? One by two. So this is possible. And this is what I don't want. Okay, so QS. This is two by this is two by one matrix and this is also two by three matrix. So this can also be possible. Two by one and what? Two by three. Oh yeah, two by one and two by three. So this is not possible. Yes. And so we say QS for QR you are going to solve. So QR is the trial question and for QS it is not possible yes so so for QR and provide the an answer at the comment section okay so now we are done with multiplication of matrices we are now moving on to how to calculate for determinant of two by two matrix and determinant of what three by three matrix okay all right